Zach, do you, how well do you know Davis Thompson, uh, given his father's uh, affiliation with the McGladry? Yeah, pretty – RSM. RSM, excuse me. It's okay. Very, uh, I mean, mildly well, considering the age gap. Um, Todd, his father, is a good, really good friend. Uh, Todd's done a tremendous job with the Davis Love Foundation slash RSM Classic. Um, tremendous job. Uh, great family. And I'm not just saying that to be nice. Tremendous family. Um, Davis lives on the island. I've played a lot with him over the years. Well, I might say that. The last – you all have to – you all know better than me. Maybe the last three or four when he's been on tour, two or three. I don't know what, what year it is for him. But um, one of his best friends is uh, my sports psychologist's sons. Davis works with my sports psychologist, Dr. Mo. Um, so whether it's a practice round on the road or whether it's a nice little money game at home, you know, periodically. I mean, it, and it may just be nine holes with Dr. Mo and, I, we we kind of saw it coming. I'm really elaborating here. Saw it coming about three, two or three months ago. He did. I, I don't know what his changes were, but he did some changes makeup in his golf bag, and it started to click. He's a uh, he he's in that talent realm that what I'm seeing and what we're seeing. If you know him and been around, it's not surprising. You know, are we looking at potential superstar here? I realize that's a big word. No, I think the key word there is potential. Um, I don't think that's inaccurate or offbeat. I think that's a pretty, you know, potential is kind of a vague word, but I, I think it's, uh, I think you said it, Mike. I think he, what does Davis do well? Well, everything does, you know, well. It's not like he's the longest player. It's not like he's the best wedger or the best putter, but he does everything really, really, really well. So, I, I, again, I'm not. I'm not surprised. He hits it very, very solid in the middle of the face and very straight. And um, he and his caddy Joe evidently have something going on that's pretty good. Do so. you feel like you've given him any kind of help for a um, I'm not going to speak on his behalf. I don't think that would be I, – I don't I don't necessarily know. Um, indirectly, maybe, just because we've played some. I mean, it's not like we played we play every day but or practice every day together, but we, we've played some. Um I, I don't whether or not you, you're even conscious of it. I think if you play with somebody, you know, of his caliber, our caliber, if you want to call it that, you're going to learn something. I mean, you may not even know what it is, but you're going to pick it apart and um, retain something. Maybe. Um, hopefully, you can <laughs> access it when needed. But uh, you know, I, I, I've always been impressed with his game. I mean, his, his amateur career speaks for itself. He had to have been close to the number one amateur in the world for a period there. I have no idea. Uh, I think he finished first in the PGA Tour U. Is that accurate? Second, maybe? Second, I don't know. Second. Okay, there you go. Point is, I, I think there's some legitimacy to that. And, um, you know, once you get out here, it, it, it is a transition to some degree. But it's for, for talents like that, the transition's subtle. Well, when you started out here, Ditto. But, I mean, he's 25. What, 25-year-olds yeah. winning out here was not right. that common, right? Right. Yeah, it was a what happened? select few. Well, I, I I, mean, we can go down that hole. I, I think it's a, it's a collaboration, combination of a lot of different things. I think the um, the attraction because of Tiger Woods for the younger generation is part of it. Uh I mean, you talk to some of these kids. What, what, who'd you grow up watching? Well, it's it Tiger. <laughs> um, I watched him too, except for I was competing against him, which was a little bit unfortunate. Um, and, 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 and beautiful at the same time, I should say. Um, I think it's that. I think it's also the – I mean, technology has something to do with it. But, but I'm not – you know, it doesn't matter what generation you are in technology. There, there's, there's something there, right? So uh, – I'm going to go with the knowledge of the game, the pure I mean, almost wisdom of the game when it comes to, to coaching, mechanics of the golf swing, the efficiency of the mechanics of the golf swing, 
training for power is part of it, and then and then the physical side, the the actual uh, proper specific workout designed for a golfer, for that golfer, for that you know for each individual. I mean, when I got out here, golf fitness was it it, it had surfaced, but it was very rudimentary, and I would even say um, infrequent. Um, now it's <laughs> what we have our hands on and access to on a weekly basis relative to 20 some odd years ago is significant. Uh, it's an industry now, golf fitness. And I, I think that's a big part of it too. So it's, it's all of that. It's, it's all of that kind of morphed into one, I think. Um, and then, you know, like, I, like I said, the, 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 the attraction of playing the game at a high level, you know, when you see it as a kid. I mean, what I, what I knew is, I mean, I remember Jack in 86 at Augusta. That's my first recollection of watching golf. I was 10, and uh, he was 46, and he won. He only saw the back nine at, at, at Augusta National. But I remember Jackie was on the bag and him winning. That's That was my first memory. So, um, anyway, there's there's just there's more access to the game, I think, for these for these kids. So those money games at, uh, at Sea Island must be – Pretty, pretty good, huh? It can be, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, you know, obviously there's a, there's a, the, during the course of January through probably even September, October, it's hit and miss. I mean, it depends on who has off weeks and who doesn't. But, uh, yeah, there can be. There's, you know the names that live there. I mean, you can go figure that out. But then there's a, there's a lot of kids that you don't know yet, and they're good, you know, that makes sense. Whether they were college All-Americans or just mini tour players or kids are just trying to work their way up. And grinding. I mean, I can think of a handful right off the top of my head. So, we've got to have, I don't know, four, 13 to 16 kids, guys that live there that are, you know, counting me and Davis, Jaybird. A few have left, but. Oh, Brian's still there, right? Harm. I'm sorry? Harmon's, Harmon's there. there. Harris is there. Hudson's still there. Patton. Michael Thompson, he's hurt. He's trying to get back. And then there's a, JT Poston, Davis Thompson. <laughs> Grayson Sig. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't think so. Todd, Todd that's a good question. Todd Thompson played golf at Georgia uh, as well. I believe their kids were raised in Auburn, Alabama. But um, that's, I think that's what Davis technically would call home. But uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. When, Zach, how about, when did you oh, when did you hand Dave, uh, Davis his first dollar? When did you first? Oh, I, I I couldn't tell you. That's a good question. I, I I couldn't tell you. I love to come up with something witty and even inaccurate that makes it funny, but I'm not that clever. <laughs> so Zach, Zach, I mean, you you have your best round since 17. I know everyone wants to win this thing, but you're in the top 25 right now at 48. You shot. What, over 15 under? I mean, how, how do you feel you played just overall over the course of the week? I I had, I had 10 holes that got the best of me. A 10-hole stretch, and that was yesterday, um, starting on the ninth hole. So, that I mean, what I've learned is that your mind, your default, your mind goes to the negative. It's probably not wise because there was, call it 60, 62 holes that were actually pretty efficient. Um, I mean, if I played somewhat like I played today on the back nine, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a little bit better for sure. So um, that part's unfortunate. Uh, I'm pretty. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Particular? No. I don't like expectations. At the same time, I have pretty high standards. So, um, can't use course knowledge as an excuse, <laughs> uh, or course conditions. <laughs> I, I, course is as good as I've ever seen it. A little bit of rain, you know. Obviously, we played it up on Thursday. That part was unfortunate, but. This place drains great. John Deere's done an amazing job. They made the tournament better and better every year. That's why guys are coming. So I, I'm I don't want to say I'm pleased with the result, but I think I got what I got. And I think that's you know, I missed some, I made some. And um, I'm still learning. That's the beauty. I'm still trying to get better. Here's a fraught question. Is this golf course too easy? I didn't hear what you said, I'm sorry. Here's a, a fraught question. Is yeah. this golf course too easy? I mean Davis. Oh no, and I I see what you're saying. Um I think it's a fair question. Um, it's funny you say that because we were talking about that. I don't know. I looked at the leaderboard for the first time on the back nine somewhere just to see what the leaders were doing, right? 
Um, and saw that he was way under really, really quick. He and I'm tied like, Michael Kim's record at the turn. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's impressive. Um, uh, uh, here's the proper answer. Uh, I think if it's in another month or another time, season, no, it's not. Um, if you play this, you know, mid uh, mid spring, it's not going to be this low. If you play this, shoot, my first two years out here, I think, my first, maybe maybe my sponsor exemptions, if you will, it was in September, and um, you'd have to go back and look. I think VJ shot like 11 or 12 under in four days and won by like two or three. Yeah. So, granted, the game's changed since 2000, 2001, whatever it was. Um, I, I don't know. I see where you're going. Um, the the problem with trying to fix it is that it's just all right. Let's just throw another tee box back there, 30, 40 more yards. And in some respects, that's probably proper. In some respects, I don't think it is. Um, I don't have the answer if it is too easy. I can tell you in a year and a half from now, it's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's it's a it's a bona fide question. I, I I don't I don't know how to respond to it other than sometimes it's fun to see guys make birdies. That's that's, that's not a bad product as well. Uh, I know a lot of fans like to see well carnage would be the extreme, but like to see you know struggle. Totally get that. That we have a lot of weeks where it's struggle. You know, there's a lot of tournaments that aren't even majors that feel like a major. So um, every now and again, it's nice to have to. All right, man, I got to step on the gas. I got to get off to a good start. I got to, you know, whatever it may be, be aggressive. And when the greens are this receptive, um, it, it and the and it's the heat is up. The ball goes further. The fairways are still pretty wide because of the moisture. It's point and shoot. Ball lands, stops where it is. I mean, there's there's it, it becomes low. That's the, that's the that's the combination. That's the that's the formula. Um, it's not just this week, you know, but this is this is one of those weeks. So, yeah.